Let's meet our first potential fooler. I'm Vitaly Beckman. I'm an illusionist. I was born in the Soviet Union. Everybody was admiring culture and art. And I always looked at magic as an art form. Magic is very old. They say that in the pyramids, there are paintings of somebody's doing the cups and balls. I used to paint as a kid. My act is about bringing art to life. Sometimes I'm being inspired from nature, like leaves falling off a tree, as simple as that. I think that not only that magic can be art, I think that art is magic. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vitaly Beckman. Thank you. My name is Vitaly. And uh, although that name sounds Italian, I was actually born in Soviet Union. And since I speak English, but talk Russian, I sound like Borat. <laughs> and I look like Seinfeld. <laughs> but hey, speaking of celebrities, um, Alison, would you help me out? Oh, Let's sure. hear it for Alison Hannigan. Oh. Thank you very much, Alison. Oh, my pleasure. Alison, we haven't prearranged anything, right? No. Good, because I've got here a deck of playing cards. I'll ask you to hold on to the box for me. Thank you. And they're all different. And you know how a lot of times a magician would have you select a card, usually like so, right? Yes. We're going to try something different. I'll ask you to look at me, stand facing the audience this way. I'm going to hold the cards like this. Ooh. OK. Now you're going to say stop any time as I'm going to go through the cards one by one, okay? okay? Now remember, they're all different, so I don't care which one you stop me at. Stop. <laughs> right here? Yes. Or do you want me to go a few more? It's up to you. No. Right stop. here, yes? Okay, could you remember this card? Yes. You remember it? Yes. Okay, don't forget it, because I'm gonna lose it in the deck, so make sure you do, you do not forget it. I'll take the box back, okay? We're gonna place it in the box. And I'll ask you to hold on to it like this, OK? OK. OK. Now, you know, since I was a kid, I was trying to guess people's playing cards before I even got into magic. And I've got a picture to show you when I was about three, four years old with a playing card in my hand. Now, wouldn't it be amazing if that card would be the one you're thinking of now? Yeah. Right? Well, here's my family photo album. And here is me as a kid. I was very small. <laughs> In Russia, cards are very big. Alison. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that, you look disappointed, is that the card? No, but you're really cute. <laughs> I am, huh? Yeah. So it's not the, no, but you're serious, it's not the card? It's not. You know, I wasn't into magic, I was very small. But when I was eight years old, my parents, they bought me a magic set. And I did my first card trick. Is that the one? Oh, uh, still no, but very cute. <laughs> so you like my cuteness, but it's not the card. Right. OK. But you know what? Um, I got better a few years later. I, uh, I became bigger, too. I started to travel. Here I am in Paris. Oh. Jack of clubs. Oh. Alison? No? No. I've got a lot more photographs here. 52? <laughs> yeah, I traveled to 52 places. Great. <laughs> Get comfortable. <laughs> we have time, right? <laughs> Alison, OK, for the first time, what card you're thinking of? Tell us. Eight of clubs. Eight of clubs? Yes. OK, since I got better with the years, I'm going to show you a recent photo. You see, on my way to the show, I stopped over in London. And I took a picture for all of you here tonight. It's the last photo here of me in London with the eight of clubs. Oh. There was a lot of traffic. Right. You, do you see me, Alison? No, I you don't. You don't, eh? I don't. And the card, see. you don't see eight of clubs? Uh, no, no, no. No? Uh, Alison, let's have a look at it a little closer. OK. Did you hear that? I, I heard that. Listen one more time, listen one more time. Thank you. 
Actually, you know what, Alison? Let me take this out for you. I want you to see this up close. So have a look, Alison. Is this a regular photograph? Yes. Yes? Yes. That and is so cool. Thank you very much. You can keep this as a souvenir. Oh. Big hand to Alison, everybody. Yeah. Johnny Beckman, everybody. Thank that you, Alison. That is Alison. so cute. Thank you. Wow. Thank that you. is just so incredible. Um, and you came up with that yourself. Yes. I actually invent all of the illusions that I do in my shows. And this one uh, I developed about six, seven years ago. And I actually do a lot of different things with photographs. So that was just one. Uh, I make people disappear from their photograph, appear in another picture. In one show, I had people bring their home photographs to the show, and I removed them from their own photographs. That could be very useful when you, you know, have a great photo of you and your friends and, like, an ex-boyfriend, and you're like, <laughs> ugh, I wish you weren't in the photo. <laughs> you could just magically disappear him. I could. Do you think... You have a shot at fooling them? Well, to be honest, I don't know. All right. But let's check in with Penn and Teller and All see right. if you did fool let's them. Let's see. It. Let's All right, boys. Ah, Vitaly, it's so good. So good to see an act that has animation in it, animation where things move and you see them, and then it's not an iPad. It's <laughs> not a screen. There's something so magical. You know, 30 years ago, if you did a trick and had a flat screen where something moved, that'd be the most magical thing you could have seen. Now, in the 21st century, the most magical thing you can do is pull out a good old printed picture <laughs> and show that to people as a miracle. I want to praise you on that. Thank and you. I want to also, uh, where'd you say you're from? I was yeah. born in Russia. And how much do you know about baseball? Not much. Well, you know that there's... The, I know there's... they spit. What's that? They spit. They spit and they throw They're a ball around. They're not going to spit on you. I'm okay. And you also sure. might know that there's not just one out, there's not just two out, but there's multiple outs. Did you know that about baseball? Right. I think you're trying to give me a code with multiple outs. Yeah. And that's not true. It's not true. No. Oh. There's no multiple oh. outs. No. Oh. Only one way it can go. Yes. And there's no uh, limited... Uh, could she have really picked any one of 52 cards? Well, she... Did you have a free choice? Yes. So I want to say, if we can't welcome you by saying uh, baseball has multiple outs, we can welcome you to America by saying you fooled Penn and Teller. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let's see if it can happen again when we come back. Yeah.